to a marathon training. Walk around the block. I brought a power aid this time. I'm going by myself. It's early morning. I'm going to walk a little farther than I normally do. Nothing much going on, it's just been a minute, 30 seconds. It's nice and peaceful. Birds are starting to wake up from the early morning chill. Greatness. So, be careful what you watch on TV. I was watching um, Moon Shiners. And I used to watch Moon Shiners when I drank and it was entertaining to me. But I watched it to make fun of it and to troll it. And when you know my alcoholic mind started liking it. And it started getting not a craving, but an impulse to want to buy alcohol so I uh, messaged a friend last night when I couldn't fall asleep and they're going to be talking to me today about my situation and thinking what it might I might have to go to the hospital um, I might not While we're out free, we're going to walk. Maybe I can walk off these thoughts of drinking. Thank you, Lord, for this walk. I'm sober. I'm not drunk. I can breathe good, I can feel good. See if it's I feel a lot more saner than I did when I started my walk. I feel a lot better. I won't drink that alcohol, guys. 
Either I have to go to the hospital or walk until I can't walk anymore. Whatever it takes. I don't want to be sick again. I don't want to wake up throwing up. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night craving alcohol. I don't want to make my wife sad and my son sad. I don't want to just my morning meditation. I'm going to stay strong. I got three years. This is why they say do one day at a time. I was doing it one day at a time. I went and watched when she finished. The AA people got some stuff right. I was thinking years in the future. Thinking about adding RSO and distillate to alcohol and letting it age. Until one day when I'm old enough and retired enough on my last leg and I can return to it but that's just a fantasy see that's an alcoholic fantasy because if I were to buy that alcohol I would drink it and that's not good it's not good for me my friend Ed died from alcohol I'm not going down I'm not going down with that In six minutes, been a good little walk. We vented. There's a guy out here. go the long way home no shortcuts because last night we were thinking about drinking if the phone cuts out I went around the long way home yeah. and uh, it, I only got like 10 minutes of recording time on this phone so I'm close to home but I'm going to take a detour and I'm going to go exercise some more because I feel good Last night was crazy. So thank you to all my friends who I reached out to yesterday and to my wife who made me feel loved. Made me feel like I don't need alcohol. That was the most important thing. I confessed to her what I was going through. I thought she was going to leave me because I was thinking about drinking. She, she just loved me. So, it makes sense that I would have a struggle and I went through a honeymoon period. But, damn it, I'm gonna get back to where I was. I'm already feeling better. This walk is helping me a lot. I'm gonna post this walk. Walk. Uh, walk every morning. Walk 
walk every night, walk in the middle of the daytime. And while we were walking, I uh, post all my walking videos. Inspirational talks. I was suffering from alcoholism, or pills. Benadryl works like a benzo. You don't need benzos. You just need to take a hot bath and a couple of Benadryl. And stay in there for an hour. Not too hot. Don't cook your liver. But just a little bit uncomfortable. And warm hot water. Stay in there for like 30, 40 minutes. By the time you get out, you're not going to have any energy. Becca's going to be harking out of the bathtub. And alcohol. I highly suggest that you use cannabis. Treat your alcoholism because cannabis is so much better than alcohol. Even though it does cost me a lot of money and I get in fights with my wife over it. I'm alive. A lot of my friends are dead. This is just how it goes.